Studies Sunday, where college girls come to redefine college and life success while learning simple and effective study skills. When it comes to studying and preparing for exams, you know that I'm a huge advocate for self quizzing. Now I have a process that I like to follow and it was the same process that I followed all throughout nursing school and it's a process that I teach the clients that I work with one-on-one -on -one and the clients that are in my Rocket College system to use before they start the self-quizzing process. And it is the system that I'm going to share with you today. So step one is to take notes on the material that your professor has told you is going to be covered on the upcoming exam. So if you're someone who likes taking notes while you're in lecture, do that if it works for you. If you're the type of student that loves to watch videos, then go ahead and take your notes from videos that you find online. If you are like me and you enjoy taking your notes through your textbook because you find that you can grasp the material easier that way, then go ahead and take your notes from your textbook. It doesn't matter as long as the information that is going to be tested on your upcoming exam is in your notes and makes sense to you. The second step is to go ahead and gather all of the notes and to sit down and review them two to three times. At this point during your study process, this is the second time that you're exposing yourself to the information or it might be the third time that you're exposing yourself to the information. So you really want to make sure that you are making sense of your notes and that you are really trying to draw connections that are going to make it easier for you to recall the information when we move on to step three, which is the self quizzing. Now the mistake that a lot of students make is that they stop at step number two where it is that they just review their notes two to three times thinking that reviewing their notes and exposing themselves by rereading is going to help them be successful on the exam. What happens is you trick your brain into thinking that you know the information because your brain becomes familiar with seeing the same words and you reading the same information, but there really is no way for you to actually tell whether you know that information unless you test yourself and you're able to spit out in your own words that you have truly understand the concepts, the key terms, and the information that your professor is going to ask you to regurgitate. Now when you first start self-quizzing, it is really difficult to try to ask yourself questions and to try to lecture to yourself. So don't worry, you will get better at it. What I suggest when you're first starting off with this self-quizzing process is to use the resources and the material that are already available to you. A lot of textbooks now have questions and quizzes in the back of the textbook and also many of them now come with online resources that have additional quizzes and additional questions that will require you to test your knowledge on the information that you should know. And if you want to take it a step further, a lot of textbooks have study guides which have additional questions, additional ways of looking at the information, multiple choice versions, they have application versions. It can help you in making sure that you are doing well in your classes. The more that you do this self-quizzing, the more that you find these resources and these places to ask yourself questions, the better that you are going to be at creating these questions on your own. And I teach how to create your own questions, how to create your own practice exams and get really good at this self-quizzing when you work with me one-on-one -on -one or when you uh, enroll in the Rock at College program. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you can go to rockatcollege.com to find out more information about that. If you sign up for my VIP list, you can download my four Get Better Grades cram sheets that will help you become a better student with time management, a better student with your reading skills, and even a better student when it comes to studying and preparing for your midterms and your final exams. And you can sign up for those four Get Better Grades cram sheet by clicking down below. It'll be in the description box as well as somewhere across this screen. I hope that you found this video helpful and as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the episode of Soulful Study Sunday you just watched. I have so many more study skills and practical college advice 
In the Rock at College system, a step-by-step -step blueprint for creating your own study system. Get better grades without the stress, overwhelm, and lack of social life over at rockatcollege.com.